Indeed, friends, Paul writing to the church in Philippi, right at the beginning of that epistle, in chapter 1, in verse 12, he says, And I want you to know, my dear brothers and sisters, that everything that has happened to me here has helped to spread the good news. Amen. Yes, friends, Paul is in prison. And you may be f- feeling today that you are also in this prison. I've got good news for you. Look what happened. For everyone here, including the old palace, verse 13, knows that I am in chains because of Christ. And because of my imprisonment, most of the believers here have gained what? Look at it. Confidence and boldly speak God's message. See, friends, what the devil tried to curse and break in Paul's life. Look what God has done. He turned it around for Paul's blessing to spread the gospel. The same is happening to you right now. And I'm encouraging you, friends, if you want to learn more about this, go and check out our YouTube channel, Africa Praise Ministries. Amen. Yes, friends. Wow. It's been an awesome time spending all these weeks going through the epistles as written by Paul. And it's no different when we came to the book of Philippines. Amen. Friends, Paul's life may have been towards the latter part of his life in in prison, but look how God has used him. God can do the same for you, friends. You may not be in a physical prison, but your mind, your circumstances, wherever you are, may place you in that prison where you can't really get out and do what you want to do and what God has called you to do. Friends, that's what the devil wants. He wants to tie you down so that you become his slave. But the Bible says, whom the Son sets free, Jesus declared that in John, is free indeed. You don't need to be bound and live that life. See, friends, God has allowed Paul to be in prison here in Rome so that his glory, that's right, God's glory can come to the fore. Paul was imprisoned, but he touched many lives whilst in prison. Not only of those in prison, how ironic, but those that, and many and greater, more of those that are and were outside prison. So friends, in those same very circumstances that you find yourselves in, you may think, wow, I'm I'm literally confined to a prison. That may be true, but God has bigger plans for you to touch all those people. So get out of that spiritual prison today and give God the opportunity in your weakness so that God's strength will be glorified. God's power will be glorified. That's where it's all heading to. It's all about bringing glory to God's name and spreading the good news of Jesus Christ, no matter what your circumstances are. Father, once again, we come in no other name, but of your son, Jesus Christ. And daddy, today, we declare that we coming out of this spiritual prison that we find ourselves in. Father, we ourselves have allowed us to be in this situation. You are waiting, Lord, for us to give the word, I want to get out. You are taking us by the end and out of these prison bars. Father, you have bigger plans for us to spread the good news of your son, Jesus Christ. And today, Father, Every chain that binds us in the mighty name of Jesus, I break and tear down today. Father, I see so many people that are listening today being bound by these chains. No matter what they are, 
financial chains lord chains that uh, where there's relationship problems lord you know the detail lord people have been bound by demonic influence today in jesus name those chains be broken and fall to the ground and they be set free father i claim that i declare it in that never failing name of your son jesus christ amen indeed friends what satan tried to curse and break god is blessing and building until next time this is pastor henry samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in jesus mighty name stay blessed